coach. You're tuned in to Sunday Night Football on e Nobody cares about you, coach. What bad do is you got by the wolf? Welcome back to the channel, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you so much for stopping by. Here we are. Another episode of the Dennis Ford My Career right here on Madden 19. If you miss any of the other episodes, they're available here on the channel in a playlist. Looks like the Bengals have the ball first. And they're going to march down the field and get six points. Make that seven with the extra point. They got a touchdown. Looks like the Steelers beat the Patriots there. And they'll go ground game here with a tailback. The loss of the full three yards, and now it's second down. Nice play right there to stop him behind the line, but I want to see how this defense continues to play him here in the first half. Yeah, we know. You know better than I. He has the ability to take over a game, so what do you do? Yeah, I think you have to make sure that you bottle him in at varying levels because if you crowd everyone to the line of scrimmage, he breaks through, there's nothing but room to run. Mayfield now, wide open receiver complete. And up to the 35 before they're able to knock him down. It's a gain of 10, and the Browns are going to get a first down. They've got good playmakers on the offensive side of the ball. I don't know what happened last week to, to really hurt their performance and, and hold down their production, but I would dare say that this week in practice, there's a lot of talk about how they're going to increase their proficiency. Yeah, that was a good start getting the playmakers involved. You mentioned that to me pregame. That's what they did there. Yeah, I think a lot of people think the coaching staff really gets on them, and that's how they motivate them. Most of these guys are self-motivated. They have a lot of pride in their performance. So back-to-back -back big runs, picking apart this defense on the opening drive. I thought this was a passing league. I thought this was the <laughs> era we were in where the ball was always in the air, right? They didn't get the memo. That they was didn't bad. They didn't get the memo, and I know this to be true. Offensive linemen still, to this day, they want to run the football. They want to fire out and hit people across the line of scrimmage, and they're clearing space. Second down, Mayfield. Pass incomplete. Landry, the intended target, and it's third down. And it is true. You can draft the fastest. You can draft the most athletic guys. But if they don't know the art of positioning, sometimes it's all for naught. In this case, in the right spot, he'll force the incompletion. Yeah, well, had his hands on it for a second. Would have been a tough catch, though. Falls incomplete. And he'll be taken down at the 44-yard line. They do get 12, but they'll be marked short. And that leads to a fourth down. They'll run it now, out of the gun. And he's able to get the first before he's taken down at the 36. And the drive stays in motion with a nice eight-yard pickup on fourth. Brandon, this is a good spot in the field to go for it. A lot of coaches call this no man's land. A field goal is no short thing, and neither is a punt. They made the right choice, went for it, and picked up the first down. And this play will be blown up. He'll lose yardage back at the 38. It's a loss of two there, bringing up second down. I know the scouting report on him is that he doesn't possess the eye discipline to be an elite linebacker. What that means is his ability to read, react, and make a play. And this is caught. And he is into the end zone. Touchdown, Cleveland. Jarvis Landry, his third touchdown now on the year. And the Browns. There you have it, folks. A touchdown for the Browns. We add the extra point. First and ten. Second, third and two. First and ten. Another first and ten. Second and six. Now an incomplete pass by Andy Dalton. Third and six. Nine yard rush, first and 10. First and goal, and yeah, they got another touchdown. Now they'll run it on the toes. And he'll get it out near the 40 to the 39. It'll go as a gain of six that time, and it moves the chains as well. So from the 39 now, they'll come up on a first and 10. 
Running game working. They'll stick with it on first down. And this play will be blown up. He'll lose yardage back at the 38. It's a loss of a yard there, and now second down. Well, that play was doomed right from the start. They just about ran into every defender on that one, didn't it? It felt like everyone Holding had a piece of that offense. Personal no. Foul, face mask. Defense. Well, we looked at each other right away. We knew that flag was coming out. And I always enjoy the conversation post because officials always tell you, I don't want to throw the flag, but you caused the play. You did it. I had to. And on the ground they go with a running back. And he's going to fight his way forward here for a modest game. It's a pickup of four, and it'll bring up second down. Earlier this half, you were wondering how the defense was going to handle him defensively. Were they going to bottle him up at different levels, so to speak, is what you said. What have you seen so far? Well, I think they've been absolutely terrific because it feels like on every play, if we were watching this in the film room, when they clicked off the film or stopped it, you would see 11 shirts of that same color right there in the frame trying to tackle him. That's what you're looking for. Detroit! Detroit! And now Mayfield on the bootleg. He's going to find his running back. It's complete. Give him three yards and a fresh set of downs. Two minutes remain here in the first half. We'll come back to Cincinnati after this. Coming up at the half, a reminder, we go back to Orlando to check in with Jonathan Coachman. He'll have a look back at our first half as well as a look ahead to what's coming up later this weekend. And able to push his way forward here for a good little game. Making the play defensively, Carl Lawson. The Browns try to get back and set quickly here. Time ticking away. And they'll go on the ground. Heck of a move and then brought down near the 23. The linebacker, Preston Brown, brings him down. They'll get to the line here, but remember, it's also third down. Pretty good job defensively. Thought he was going to get it, but they knew where that marker was, and they stopped him just short of it. What it does is emphasize that strategic football and situational football is not just played on the offensive side, is it? Defense understanding, as you noted, where the first down marker was and making sure they didn't get there. Well, he's already proven to be a factor in the running game on this drive. Now he gets involved in the passing game. I think what we're seeing here is the modern version of workhorse in the NFL, being able to run it and catch it with equal proficiency. Only a yard in the completion. It's second and goal. So many times you hear today's NFL described as a space game. Get your best players into space with the football in their hands. That's why sometimes you swing it out to your runner, get him out in the flat, and let him have a chance to make people miss an open field. Throwing again on second down, but this time it's incomplete. And the hit jarred it loose. It's incomplete. Now, he's been a busy man out of the backfield. They've looked his way quite a bit so far in this game. Nice job there defensively, though, adjusting, because a couple of his earlier catches, he was wide open. Not that time. You mentioned the key word, adjustment. A better cover man on him now in space. And running room hard to come by here. He gets it down to the eight. And now the are going to go for the field goal, y'all. Timeout. As the clock stops here with 46 seconds remaining in the first half. We're going for the field goal. Kick is up, it is good. First and 10, they got second and two now, 15 yards on the reception. Pass locked away, third and four, kick off. There we go. They got another. Well, they added a field goal this time. Here comes the Browns offense back onto the field. And last time, one play interception. So this offense, they should be fresh. <laughs> That's a good way of putting it. And I can't wait to see what they decide to do with play caller because a one play drive where you throw an interception, a lot of people think the very next time out, run the football, don't give them a chance. Maybe play action. I think maybe you go play action, show your quarterback, get a little confidence in it, and let him fling another one. And he's able to take this one up to the 35 yard line. It'll be a gain of 11, and that's going to make it third down and less than a yard. Look, the first down marker is out there, but sometimes it's hard to find for an offense when they're in a long yardage situation, which usually means throw the football. In this case, it went against the tendency and ran it, and boy, the reward was there. A big, big pickup 
And guess what? It's now third and very short in order to try and pick up a first down. Only three there on the pickup, but that's enough to move the chains. Teddy's got some open running room. And getting this chest shy of midfield, they'll spot it at the 49. That's good for a Cleveland first down, an 11-yard pickup. Two first downs have him up near midfield now on first and 10. Right back to him on first down. And across midfield he goes and into Bengal territory. Carlos Dunlap, the defensive end, the one to bring him down. I call that play a success. A nice inside run sets up a very manageable second down. A very solid gain on that play. And he'll be face mask. Oh, that's a face mask. Certainly looked like it. Indeed, here come the flags. Personal foul. Face mask. Defense. Well, okay, there's the so face mask, y'all. That call nowadays, but that would look pretty easy. Yeah, you're right. They took out of their hands, having to wonder whether it's a five-yard or a 15-yard inadvertent or not. Now it's a lot easier. You see it, you call it. And they'll run it here. Wiggles free, and he's going to lose yards. They take him down at the 26. That's stupid. The collision of your own freaking man. Good gosh. They'll try to throw here, Mayfield. And it's incomplete, took a shot, couldn't connect. This defense is continuing to contest every deep ball that is thrown downfield. And look, it doesn't matter whether you're playing man or zone, eventually that becomes man on man, and you've got to trust yourself and go up at that moment of truth and make a play on the football. And this is going to be incomplete. The linebacker Preston Brown. to settle for a field goal. Kick is up, it is good. Got a four yard rush. Second and 10, first and 10 now. Second and one, an incomplete pass by Andy Dalton. Seven yard rush, first and 10, second down. First and 10. Second and five now. First and goal, touchdown. And now Cleveland geared up to take the field. And tough to win games if you're going field goal, field goal, field goal here. They got field goal last time. Now they'll be looking for a touchdown. They're looking for the big chunk now because, as you noted, the field goal, field goal, field goal and way of doing it makes it that much harder. It puts more pressure on every possession for you now. Go ahead and get six and feel a lot more comfortable about the position they're in. Bigger chunks. We'll see if they can get the score. Line of scrimmage. Again, the 25, second and 10. On second down, Mayfield again. He's going to flip one out here to his running back. A very good move, but for a relatively modest gain out near the 32. Call it a pickup of seven, and that's going to bring up a third down. It's funny, throughout the time that we've been together when we talk with running backs about the ability to catch the ball, their eyes light up when they talk about open field and having one-on-one -on -one matchups, don't they? Yeah, they do. And that's the reason why. What we just saw, shedding those tackles, and that's what they're used to do. It is, and it starts at the beginning of the play, one-on-one -on -one matchup with someone trying to cover them, but they also like those one-on-ones downfield after the catch when they're running. So we're going to end the third quarter here. The Browns down 24-13. They'll run it now out of the gun. And he's going to be stopped here for no game. And that's going to take us to the end of the third quarter play. It's the Browns with a deficit. They're trailing, but with the football here to start the fourth. The Browns on third down. They've had good success, five for eight to this point. They need just a yard here. It's third and one. They'll run it now out of the gun. Good run by Denny Ford. Inside the 45. 13 yards to pick up there. Good for a Cleveland first. Mayfield now on second down. Throwing for his running back, and he's got him complete. And he'll get it down on the play to the 37. It'll be a three-yard gain, and that'll lead here to a third down. To throw, Mayfield. Throw left side, caught by the tight end in Joku. And he's got the first as they'll bring him down at the 28-yard right. line. 
What a methodical drive this is turning out to be. That time, nine yards, and the sticks move again. Leopard! 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 And they'll try the ground game here with the running back. Eventually wrangled down before reaching the 20, but a strong run. 24 and rushes, 94 yards for Denny run, today. And it's second and four. And when you get good yardage like that on first down, it really does a whole lot of good for your entire offense. But I love the way he's finishing those runs. At the end of things, he's making sure he gets just a little bit extra. And they'll go with a ground attack here. They'll get it inside the red zone, but only for a couple down to the 19. Third and a yard. The Browns on third down. They've been really good converting seven of their ten tries. They're up against a third and one situation. And they'll go ground game here with a tailback. And he'll have the first down, getting this one to the 14-yard line. Five yards is the pickup there as that extends this drive. Well, that last run makes this a 100-yard night. I've loved the way he's hit the holes. He's been quick, he's been decisive, and he's been a whole lot of fun to watch. And on the oh, man. Running back. And he is met quickly in the backfield. Down he goes, folded like a lawn chair. I know when I was a kid, I always got real excited when I saw those lateral-type runs. But the best backs that made it happen, they put a foot in the ground and just go. That didn't happen there. That play got swallowed up. And he'll go down here at the 12-yard line. It's a gain of five on the play, and that's going to lead to a third down. Mayfield to throw it. Finding his safety valve here. That's complete. And he'll take it into the end zone for a Browns touchdown. A great play there. His 14th touchdown now on the year. And the Browns have cut it back within a score. I'm not sure win-win is the proper term here, but it's going to go for two like here. It. They got the touchdown they needed. But if I'm on the defensive side of the ball, okay, you got the touchdown, but it sure took you a long time. Yeah, because offensively, though, you're probably hoping for a win. Oh, no, we didn't make drive. it. That one ate up a little more time than they were hoping. You're exactly right. And if you have that one to five. So we're going for the onside kick, I would assume. No, we didn't go for the onside kick. What are we trying to do here? Okay, I see where we are. All right, okay. The Browns offense heading back out to take possession. Here we go now. He'll look to throw. And Bryant's got it over the middle. And this time he's able to take it down to the 42. The completion good for three and it's second down. Sometimes it's hard to figure, but you can live with incompletions in this situation. You can't live with these short gains that take time off the clock. You know who loves it, this defense. They'll look to throw. And incomplete there. A nice hit. Jars the ball free and brings up third down. A couple extra defensive backs out there in the dime. And because of that, really not many places to throw the football. Well, the Browns in a lot of trouble again, folks, as they ground. have been all year long. The ball, but you can't do it in this situation. Not nearly enough time on the clock. You have to really navigate against a tough defense presented against you. And now the third down throw incomplete as well. What a great sequence by this defense so far. They've given him nowhere to go with the football. And they just have to make it stand up one more time because it appears that they've got their number. Can they not have a slip up here and allow the touchdown? He's first down. Tight end in Joku. And now before this first down play, we're going to get a timeout here. As they'll get a chance to talk it over after picking up the first down. We're going to need a touchdown. There's no field goal here. Need a touchdown. Go on, go on! Go on, go on! He's back to throw. He's going to flip one out here to his running back. And able to break one tackle, but then quickly brought down. But a nice little gain. Seven yards on the play, and it'll bring up a second down. And they'll go on the ground, and they'll bring him down at the 18-yard line. Three yards there, good enough to keep the drive moving. First down now, but that clock rolling.
Running game working. They'll stick with it on first down. And maybe a measure of revenge there. He's had his way in this one, but this time they get him behind the line. Counting down at 30 seconds remaining. I know they got a little yardage there, but I'm not sure their investment is right. They're still running the football, and I'm not sure there's enough time to continue to do that. All right, we're going to see what happens here. The drive coming up, and certainly not an easy one on third and long. Back to throw. Oh, and nearly picked off. Intercepted there. That would have been ball game if he had clinched it and caught it. Instead, it gives him one more chance here on fourth down. More than 12. This is it. This is the ball game for the Browns. New lease on life, so to speak. A lot of times when you're in coverage, you're so focused on the man and the coverage. And sometimes the ball gets arrived. And Denny Ford gets the first out, folks. In that situation. And brought down, but not before they get it inside the 10 to the 7. They keep the game alive, at least for the moment, as it's a first down. They'll try again here from the seven on second and goal. Denny Ford is not in on this play, folks. Browns need to do it alone from the shotgun. Baker Makefield in a lot of trouble to throw. And Caught it. it. And he's able to get it down to the two-yard line. Five yards that time on the completion. And now it's third and goal. One thing I can say. And the Browns. That route is not called did not make if you it. don't have a guy who can throw the ball and put some mustard on it. Because if you go lollipop it in the middle of the field, bad things usually happen. It takes a strong-armed guy who can rifle it in there, and they were able to successfully complete that one. Well, no doubt an electrifying finish to have it down inside the 10-yard line. That final shot, though, they couldn't get it in the end zone, and that's all she wrote. And they had the final shot. The last snap taken that close to the end zone they don't get it in, so they'll regret that. But flip it over, making a stand in that portion of the field, congratulations to them. So for Cincinnati, the win gets them back to 500 at 6-6 six and six on the year. And they'll have another home date next week as the Indianapolis Colts come to town. Meanwhile, for the Browns, it was a win they needed to turn the season around, but instead, they fall to 5-7. and seven. And they'll be at home next week for a date with the Tennessee Titans. That'll do it for us. I'm Brad. All right, ladies and gentlemen, there you have it. Another episode dead and dusted, another loss for the Cleveland Browns. We have a lot of, uh, we have about, let's see, well, let's do some upgrading here real quick. All right. So, yeah, we they said we take on the Titans week 14. We have three more weeks left. Uh, best the Browns can do is eight and seven, and I don't think that'll get him anywhere. Uh, but remember, or remember, folks, this is the last year of Denny Ford's contract with the. Uh, Cleveland Browns. So, what happens with Denny Ford at the end of the season? That's the question we have for you. What happens at the end of the season? Does he stay with the Cleveland Browns? Does he move on to another team to try to get that Super Bowl ring? Those are the questions that will be answered in the next three weeks. With that being said, ladies and gentlemen, if you're new, scratch your claw marks in the bottom right hand corner of your screen. Remember the Wolfpack fam today, stiff and body to the bell icon. Become part of the vacation squad. You're not forget to put a like to the video. It's much appreciated. More Dennis Ford, my career on Madden 19 coming at you really soon. Wolfman Lewis, your godfather, Wolf. I am out.